at racket number two, another Inman article, Google searches for housing bubble have been spiking since March. Google Trends experienced a spike in searches for the term housing bubble earlier this spring, and it hasn't fully returned to normal levels, hinting that the topic is at least on a lot of minds. So yep. back in uh, early 2020, as the pandemic began, the number of Google searches related to mortgages spiked, a hint that in retrospect, foreshadowed the so-called great reshuffling as people move to greener pastures, right? Like that was yep. our first clue that, uh-oh, people are interested in getting a mortgage. Right. Maybe not Tomo because Tomo hadn't launched yet, but they were interested right. in getting a mortgage. And obviously we saw later, everybody started moving. Google searches in spring 2021, the big Google search that spiked was bidding wars. Bidding or wars. Bidding wars. And that you know, went from mortgages to like, oh my gosh, there's all these bidding wars. How do I compete? And so right now, and this, this almost could have been the marketeer because as an agent, you want to know what people are searching in Google. So you For can sure, sure. position answer. your content, answer what's those questions. Book, what's that book you made me read that one time? Um, they ask you tell, they, right? They ask you answer. Is that what it is? Yeah. You answer? They yeah. ask you well, answer. I think my, I like mine better, but um, maybe that'll be part two. I, I mean, it's it's the truth, right? Like, what are people Googling? What are they searching? Give them the information. Give them that information. You should know what consumers are searching, not only ju like just nationally, it's just going to help you in your own marketplace. So right now, uh, you've seen a huge spike. We'll put up the chart for the recent Google tr Trends spike in housing bubble. But when you put that up and then we'll put the next chart up, when you put that side by side with the interest, it, it says interest over time. This is interest in the term housing bubble on Google. OK, when you go all the way back to 2004, you see that the spike back then and it was from like 2004 through 2005. So it was a long spike mm -hmm. was much higher than it is right now. For sure. You kind of had a, this flattened line. Uh, from 2000, I don't know, nine ish all the way until now where it's just starting to spike again, but nowhere near the level. No, it's like a quarter. It's like a quarter or an eight. Yeah. Like an eighth. Maybe it's, it's yeah. not even. Yeah. Oh, I guess a quarter maybe. Yeah. I get about that. We it's, are. It's, it's hit, yeah. It hit a hundred. Now it's at 25. Yeah. It's nowhere near those levels. So, it, but it is spiking for the first time in, say, 10 years on Google where people are hearing the word recession. We talked about this on last week's podcast. By the way, if you didn't see last week's Real Word, go check that out with Tom Ferry. Please consider subscribing, leaving a five-star review if you're uh, listening and not watching on YouTube. We talk about – there's a, there was this article on Inman that basically a Zillow economist said, don't say the word housing bubble. That's bad advice. People are searching it. If you – shy away from the word housing bubble and don't talk about it. Don't use the data to back up what's going on, right? Like for, I just put on my Instagram story today, Nicole, mm -hmm. the keeping current matters chart. This is yep. probably the best chart. Everybody should be probably putting this up once a week for their consumers. This keeping current matters chart says recession doesn't equal housing crisis. So home price changed the last six recessions. In 1980, recession, home prices went up 6.1%. 1981, mm -hmm. recession, home prices went up 3.5%. 1991, they went down, but not by a lot, 1.9%. Okay, so they went down a little bit during that recession. 2001, recession, home prices went up 6.6%. 2008, that recession, which was caused by banks. It was right. caused by the mortgage crisis. That one did go down almost 20%. Home values in 2020, when we had a short two quarter recession at the beginning of COVID, home prices went up six percent. So four of the last six recessions, home prices actually went up. If your consumers, your home shoppers, your homeowners in your community are searching, and the Google Trends right now says that they are Google searches for housing bubble, they've been spiking since March. So your clients are searching this. You should be putting out that type of data. What happens during a recession over the last six? Well, four of them home values went up. This is the kind of information, one, you should be talking about 
to mm-hmm. your consumers and your clients. And two, you should be educating them on what it really means for the value of their home now right. and into the future. Boom. Boom, Nicole. Boom. Clip it. Bam. 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 Better. Bam. Yeah, Bam. Much better. <laughs> much yep, better. Sorry. Hey, guys. Appreciate you checking out this episode of The Real Word. If you want the full episode, go over to the Broke Agent YouTube. That's where we're hosting the full podcast. If you want to continue to see the segments broken out and the short clips, stay right here on The Real Word YouTube.